Welcome to Joe's Special Tool. Today we are going to work on hotspot analysis using ArcGIS. Before we go to the practical aspect, let me remind you to subscribe my YouTube channel and snap the bell to gain some kinds of updates and uh, notification from my channel. First and foremost, I would like to say something about hotspot analysis. And uh, hotspot analysis is a special analysis in mapping technique interested in the identification of clustering of spatial phenomena on their surface. So uh, this is one of uh, the, the technological aspect that helps us to determine the concentration of phenomena. So to perform hotspot analysis, we can use a vector data. The vector data can be polygon or point data, but I strongly recommend it you to use a point data. The data can be some kinds of the prevalence of disease. It may be crime data or noise. It can be also higher income or lower income. It simply indicates the concentration zone of an area with a certain criteria. So let's get started with the practical aspect. Before that, before we go to that, let's uh, evaluate my data. This is my uh, working data. Here there is a certain administrative unit of Kabale, which is found in Amara Regional State of East Coast Jam Zone. This is a Kabale administrative unit. Here is uh, the data collected from each administrative cabalese with the prevalence of tuberculosis. The other is the XY coordinate of uh, each um, administrative unit. The other important data that is listed here is that po the total population of uh, an area with uh, the data collection time. Let's get started. There are several steps that we follow. Mm, at least six steps are crucial steps to gain hotspot analysis map. The first step is drag and drop the Excel data to your arc map. This is the Excel data that I have shown earlier. The first step should be convert this CSV file format to shape file. To do so, right click here, right click, go to display XY data, then the X field is longitude and Y field is latitude that means the latitude and longitudinal data here is latitude and longitude here there is the most important and significant point the coordinate reference system is unknown so first and foremost you are expected to evaluate the type of uh, projection that are used during data collection techniques this is a decimal degree and the decimal degree is geographic coordinate system. So let's uh, go to display XY data. Here is latitude. The unknown coordinate system should be converted to geographic coordinate system. To do that, go to edit. From uh, this, we have two types of uh, coordinate system. The first one is geographic coordinate and the second one is projector coordinate system. As I have mentioned earlier, the data collected in East Coast Jam was uh, collected with the help of geographic coordinate system. So go to geographic coordinate system, then select world. From world, select WGS 1984. Click OK. Make it OK. This is the spatial distribution of pointers in East Coast Jam. So after having this, we are expected to convert this data CSV file format to shape file. Then right click here, go to data, then export data, output feature class, select the destination folder and we are uh, trying to give a name, name it as point data, point underscore data, save it, then hit OK. There is a question here, do you want to add exported data to the map as layer? Let me say yes, I need uh, the uh, shape file as data and we need to remove the rest, this uh, CSV file format and the data CSV event. This is the shape file. 
So the first step is we are trying to convert the Excel data to the point data or to a shape file. The second step is this data is the point data have a geographic coordinate system and we need to uh, convert this projection system into metric unit. The first rule to perform hotspot analysis is a projected coordinate system is mandatory to, to have a hotspot analysis. Therefore, go to Arctor box. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this uh, point data have a geographic coordinate system and we need to convert to uh, universal transverse mercator or projector coordinate system to do, so, to do that. Uh, select data management tools and find out projection and transformation. From projection and transformation, double click on project. When this dialog box appears, the input data set or feature class is the point data with the projection system of geographic coordinate system, WGS 1984. Then the output data or feature class is, we give a name in our working directory. Go to hotspot analysis exercise and let me give this as point utm save it so the output coordinate system should be go to the project select projector coordinate system from projector coordinate system select universal transverse mercator from this we need to uh, expand WGS 1984. From uh, here, the, we have two options the northern and southern hemisphere. Our country, Ethiopia, is found in the northern hemisphere. So select northern hemisphere. Then my data is collected in uh, an area of UTM zone 37. So select WGS 1984, UTM zone 37. Click here make it okay okay uh, this is the point data that is converted from geographic coordinate system to universal transverse mercator or projector coordinate system then uh, i need to add some kinds of administrative boundary which is uh, found in UNESCO jam zone let me add the word share file this is the by area of interest and the point data is collected with uh, different waradas in East Coast The next step is we need to integrate our data. Data integration is very fundamental in making hotspot analysis to uh, perform that. Go to here Arc Toolbox, then select uh, the data management tools and uh, search out feature class. From feature class, double click on integrate. The input feature data set is point data with ETM or with uh, projector coordinate system. And XY tolerance, I'll give 500 meter. The unit should be meter because I have converted the uh, data set to metric unit. So I would like to integrate my data within 500 meter. Hit OK. Now, here is a result pop-up. It indicates it performed correctly, so my data is integrated well. After having this, the next step is making spatial autocorrelation and the incremental autocorrelation of my data. This is making spatial autocorrelation of our data set. If you are remember with Tobler's theory of geography, the mirror object is more similar than the fastest one. So uh, we need to correlate our data. Then uh, to perform the next step, what we are going to do is go to our toolbox, select spatial statistics tool. From spatial statistics, there are different options. Among these, expand analyze patterns. From analyze pattern, spatial autocorrelation, more and I index should be selected. Double click here. Input feature is the integrated point UTM data, the, and the input field is selected as the prevalence of tuberculosis in Easter Coast Jam Zone. Double click here, and you need to or we need to tick generate report option. Hit OK. The autocorrelation of my data is on process. After a while, we will get 
some kinds of result pop up here the result pop up is here double click here or you can uh, use your processing and select result expand the current session so here there is partial auto correlation Moran's first index and here is the integrated data here is a projection system so uh, expand the special autocorrelation more on i uh, index here there are three uh, components the first one is index if the index is positive and the z score is uh, higher in number and if the p value is uh, nearer to zero this indicates that there is hot spots and to gain uh, a report, double click here, report file Moranzai result in HTML file format and double click here. This is a special autocorrelation report of our data of the prevalence of tuberculosis in eastern part of Goja. So uh, the Moranzai index is 0 0.759143 and the Z score is this much and the p-value is uh, nearly zero this indicates that there is uh, hot spots areas generally speaking a higher Z score and smaller p-value indicates a significant hot spot to the reverse a lower negative Z score and small p-value indicates cold spot if the Z score is near zero there is no spatial clustering this is uh, a general manifestation of our statistical data and here is uh, global moranzai summary sheet the data set information that we use for uh, the generation of this report you can incorporate this graph into your research report or in your document the second the second is let me show you incremental spatial autocorrelation this is the incremental spatial autocorrelation is highly correlated with distance as i mentioned earlier the first law of geography the linear object have similar characteristics or behavior than the fastest one so incremental autocorrelation double click here the input feature is the integrated point data in terms of utm or in terms of metric unit and the input field is the prevalence or the tuberculosis data and leave the rest uh, by default or you can calculate the beginning distance by uh, calculating by going to utilities and you can use calculate distance band from neighborhood so what i am going to do is i would like to give uh, a name uh, the result will be uh, come in the form of pdf file format and let me uh, put us pdf pdf result result then hit ok we will gain a pdf uh, file format within a seconds the result is pop up here and let's see uh, the result uh, let me go on in my desktop pdf result is here this is uh, the pdf result this is a z score and this is special autocorrelation by distance and here's a turning point or peaks uh, here there is a distance more than the uh, index expected index the variance the z score the p value all these are the statistical analysis of uh, our data you can also consider uh, this graph and you can incorporate it within your document or your research the next we are left with two more steps go to architecture box and select special statistics tools from uh, this uh, option select utilities from utility collect events input incident feature is our uh, point utm data it is integrated with 500 meter and uh, let me give the output uh, name the output name is collect collect event i will collect events within 500 meter save it and hit ok we will get concentration map this is the collect event after having this we have i count this is the number of uh, pointers that are concentrated around there 
And the next step is hotspot analysis map. We use a special statistics tool. Select mapping clusters. From mapping clusters, we have group analysis, hotspot analysis, optimized hotspot analysis, hotspot, optimized outlier analysis. But I'm very much interested to uh, perform hotspot analysis. Let me select this, double click. If the input feature class is the collect event and the input field is the, the I count, the, this I count. And let me give uh, a name in my destination folder as hotspot hotspot save it leave uh, the rest by default and uh, hit ok this is uh, a result and this is a hotspot let me make hollow the administrative boundary double click and select hollow so this the red color indicates that there is a hotspot of the prevalence of tuberculosis around here the red and the yellowish one and this is a hot spot and the rest uh, here is a cold spot but the final aim is we should have uh, rasterized hot spot analysis map for the East Gojam zone so uh, to perform that from arc toolbox go to the special analysis tool from uh, those options let me select interpolation there are different kinds of interpolation. It can be IDW, Krieging, or Spline. My preference is IDW. The input point feature is the hotspot. The hotspot. The Z value field is Z score. Let me see Z score. And let me give uh, a file name in a destination folder as IDW. Save it. This is uh, the cell size. You can use your own preference. Uh, one cell represents a 30 meter by 30 meter. You can use 100 or 50. The other is two. The other is uh, we are expected to set our environment. Go to environment, and the processing extent. The extent should be the same as the Warada or the uh, administrative boundary or my area of interest raster analysis select raster analysis as specified below and the mask layer is uh, the word make it okay and hit okay we will gain the hotspot analysis map of or the prevalence of tuberculosis in eastern gojam zone This is the final result and let me label the administrative uh, Waradas, double click on Warada or on shape file, select labels, tick on label features on this layer and select Warada name, apply, ok. So you can uh, reclass into 5, D double click on IDW result go to symbology number of classes nine let me uh, take as five and you can use uh, your color preference by changing the color ramp here but uh, let me uh, leave as default so this is a final map of hotspot analysis of tuberculosis in eastern gold jam zone uh, the red one indicates that the prevalence of tuberculosis around uh, Sanan, uh, Bibu, Ulatu Junase, and the Gozaman area, there is high prevalence of uh, tuberculosis, and uh, the, uh, the other is uh, the cold spot. So this is a hot spot area, and here is the cold spot area. This is all about hot spot analysis. If you have any question, please contact me via my email address or my Telegram channel. Have a nice day.